then I take my hammer. Put it back. Okay. So what just happened there is the tool just dropped. Can you guys yeah. see that? Okay. So it's now loose in the quill. So I'm going to hold the tool itself right here while I unscrew the drawbar. What this is doing is actually unscrewing the drawbar from the tool itself that I'm holding with my one hand. Now it's free. Got it. How much of this have you taken apart, by the way? Too much of it. <laughs> okay. So this has two different forms of thread on it, depending on what sort of tool you're putting in into this machine. Um, this particular tool has the larger size hole in it. So what ends up happening here is that this draw bar goes all the way through the machine. You stick a tool in, or a tool holder, into the machine, and then you thread this into it. Now, this is a very important subtle detail about this nut right here. If you can imagine, this, if this nut wasn't here, and this was just like a big machine screw, mm -hmm. if you were to tighten this all the way down to hold the tool in, when you went to take it back out again, mm -hmm. it would be very hard because the whole machine would just turn. Yeah. Okay, so this nut is basically a lock nut in its function. So the reason why I went up there with the socket and the large wrench mm -hmm. is because I held the top of this with the socket, mm -hmm. and then I used the wrench here to break loose the lock nut on the top. Does that make sense? So when you're installing a tool, you don't want to just thread this all the way down and tighten it. You want to thread this down most of the way, leaving some room there, and then do the final tightening on the lock nut to lock it into place. Yep. So um, another comment about um, this taper that's inside of here. Mm -hmm. Again, you want to make sure it's clear of grit and all of those stuff. <laughs> Perfect. So. Um, the reason why that feels nice is because people have been kind to it. The way you cannot be kind to it is if you take a tool such as... Nah, I'll take this one. Okay, so this does not have the special cap on it that that tool does. What I'm referring to here is that when I'm inserting this tool, if I go in at an angle, it's going to scratch the inside of that taper. So the way you properly insert the tool is you want to go straight into the machine. You don't want to go at an angle. So that guy has a rounded cap and that guy doesn't? Yeah, this has a plastic thing. cap on it okay. right here. Okay. That means if you do go at an angle, you're it's not, not going to, it's not, you're yeah. not going to mar the inside. It is a hardened steel, but, but you can still yourself. screw it up because these are also hardened, right? Yeah, so, you know, yeah, yeah. you're sort of at a loss there. Mm -hmm. So when you insert this tool, literally you just want to go straight in, just like that. Now, um, for installing a tool, I'll show. This is our draw bar. I'm going to just put this back in because coming out of the machine is not particularly useful. Okay. I take the tool holder. I insert it in here. Now, these things here, these blocks, these are called dogs. What dogs do, I'll explain in a moment, but see how when I'm pushing this up, how this draw bar goes up? Yeah. Then I just thread it in a fair ways, but not all the way. Right, so that's in there pretty far, but I've left a gap there. So when I actually want to tighten the tool the rest of the way, I grab these two very uh, masculine tools and go on the So I just go like that. Now, what that did is that just tightened down. The lock nut on the drawbar, and now the tool is fully installed. And you still have rotation in the whole thing, and you should expect rotation in the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a spindle. It's designed to spin. Good. Um, another comment here, some pitfalls. What's actually, if you think about this, it's spinning. You guys saw how this is held in, right? Mm -hmm. It's all these smooth surfaces, right? Mm -hmm. So what's actually transferring energy from the spindle down into this, mm -hmm is through these dogs right here. Okay. So if you install this tool sideways, which it will let you do, bad things will happen. Um, so you want to make sure that the dogs here are lining up <coughs> with these, these grooves in the, in the tool holder. Have you had to replace those dogs before? No. Okay. 